hey what's happening we're out here just getting some hiking in and everything and i thought this would be a cool little video to share with you we're going to talk about some hiking etiquette while hiking with your live blades and you're hiking with your buddies and all that right we got to make sure we're keeping people safe uh, but if you want to hike with your bolos and things right this is some things we got to make sure we're paying attention to so i want to share that with you so if this is a cool topic that you will enjoy hit that thumbs up button click the subscribe button also hit that little bell right there so that way you get notified anytime we got new videos or when we go live here on youtube all right all right let's get to it So as we're hiking around, right, even if uh, you got, it doesn't matter how many people you have with you, when you have to hike in those single file lines because the trails get real narrow or anything, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the person behind you wants to make sure that they have at least eight to 10 feet between uh, the person from them to the person in front of them. All right, very, very important that we have that, not only for like wildlife and safety and all that stuff as well, but when we get to the blade stuff. All right, so as we're hiking here, Anytime that I need to draw my bolo, maybe I need to clear some brush or anything like that. Whenever I go to draw the bolo, you should do a shoulder check to make sure that they're following that eight to 10 foot rule. Uh, and then when we go to draw, we draw and the left hand goes behind. That way it signifies if they're too close, you get to make some contact so you know not to go all the way to chamber, right? You're here. And also, right, you know that there's nothing there. It's all clear. They also see the visual that you are drawing your bolo. All right, now from there, you go ahead, cut, clear whatever brush you need to. We're hiking, we're hiking, we're hiking. And then what I want to do is go ahead and talk about how we sheath the bolo back. So come on in a little closer, Ollie. As we go to sheath it, secure the sheath, draw the blade on a 45 degree angle. This means that the tip is going to drop right there. Turn the blade and insert. When you insert, run the spine of the blade. Don't let it drop like this where you're running your edge. Run the spine of your blade all the way until you hear that thing lock in or click in. Same thing when we're drawing it. You want to make sure, lift it up a little bit, okay? Make sure you lift it. Don't just lift this where you're going to drag the tip though. Lift it up and pull it out on the actual spine of the blade, not running the blade edge where you're going to doll it out. All right, let's take a look at it. Let's just kind of do it, rip it out a few times and just kind of put it all into play, right? So we're hiking along, maybe it's a narrow trail, whatever, we have to go single file line. Tom, make sure he's got that eight to 10 feet, roughly between that. I have to draw, if there's something I gotta clear, I do a quick shoulder check. And at the same time, he gets the signal that I'm drawing. And then I clear, 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 whatever I need to do. And then hold that, you can do it as you practice. You can start walking a little bit watch that line make sure you don't miss it and then just put it back in be careful uh, we don't want that thing to slip and then you end up putting it through your hand you don't need to be like one of those crazy ninja dudes and ah, try and do it all fast all right just watch it pay attention and draw it back in continue your hike all right that way you can keep everything moving keep it flowing and everybody is safe they're safe you're safe all right because you got to make sure safety is your responsibility when you're hiking with live blades If you think this is a pretty cool video, just doing some uh, live blade etiquette while you're out there hiking with the buddies and all that, or with the family, bringing your bolo with you, you know, your machete, whatever you've got, uh, hit the thumbs up button. Leave us a comment below. Just hit the subscribe. If you want a training in the Filipino martial arts, learn how to use the sticks and the knives and the empty hands and all that stuff, go to collegecenter.com. Check out the university over there, our online university. We also have a bunch of DVD downloads and everything like that really just jam-packed with information all right so we'll see you guys next time thanks for joining us today nice job tom thank you good job on the eight to ten foot rule all right <laughs> we'll cool. see you guys soon